Welcome back, everyone. Hope you're having an awesome day. I'm a little bit nasally. I'm just coming off a cold, so uh, sorry, but, you know, deal with it. Uh, we're going to continue on our Genghis Khan. I said it right that time. Campaign on hard, again. Uh, we're going to do a Life of Revenge, and we're going to try to do the achievement. Uh, but if I do this and it doesn't work, we'll just play it normally. Uh, but, yeah, basically, we've got to just beat Kushluk in, like, ten minutes or something like that. Or It's like, it's something crazy like that. Winter has come to Let's the get into it. The earth is frozen hard as bone, and the only movement is the steam rising from the nostrils of men and horses. Only the promise of battle brings warmth. Nearly all of the tribes in Mongolia now answer to Genghis Khan, but with success comes enemies. A man named Kushluk has challenged Genghis's right to rule. Kushluk sows discord among the Karakatai Khanate and means to have himself proclaimed the as a rival The dog just woke up and looked at me and I'm just like... He's like... Genghis cannot allow these transgressions to go unpunished. He needs to set an example. So we ride west to find and slay Kushluk. If the Karakatai shelter him, then their lives are forfeit as well. He loves that. <laughs> Let's go. Kill the traitor, Kushluk. Prevent the tent of Genghis Khan, Wonder, from being destroyed. Seems easy enough. Genghis Khan is restricted to the castle age and a population limit of 125. The Karakatai will likely seize the initiative and attack early since they are unfamiliar with siege weapons. Constructing towers may, may be an effective form of defense. The Mongols do not know yet how to build siege workshops. To persuade the Titan... Persuade. The Taijuids to join you first kill all their soldiers. Genghis Khan's warriors have assembled in the east to defeat the Great Khan's Tent Palace against the nefarious Karakatai. Your army initially consists of light cavalry, cavalry archers, and cavalry. In the north lies a small Taijuid settlement. It is its small defense force of cavalry archers. Defense. I really went to that defense. Will fall easily to an early attack. The Karakatai control the defense. The center of the map, I want to say the defense, of the map with a large camp and many soldiers. In battle, they rely on archers, light cavalry, men at arms, skirmishes, and cavalry archers. The insurgent Nyman are led by Kushluk, who is currently visiting the Karakitai camp. The Nyman horde consists, m consists for the most part of cavalry archers, light cavalry, and swordsmen, but Kushluk will send Mangadai into battle if he is allowed to construct a castle. Right on, sister. Right, uh, so... Basically... I spotted a I'll let this guy talk. To the north. Perhaps the inhabitants can be persuaded to join us. Persuaded to join us. So basically, you need to like break through the wall and get him, get to this guy, this little glowing hero boy here, right? Nope, don't attack please, for God goodness sake. We're going to put you on no attack stands because I don't trust it. Uh, so basically the idea is you have one unit basically be bait and just run around and just get duped and eventually uh, their sacrifice will be remembered in the coming empire. As your small force here comes up and wrecks them sideways. Because you literally need to do, well, I mean you need to protect the tent, but like it's protect the tent and get Kushluk. That's it. That That's, that's the... Extent of the scenario right there. So we're going to start the attack. Do this a couple times. And then we're going to just bring him down. And hopefully that'll do him a bit. Right, run away. Alright. While he's getting duped sideways. We're going to break, start breaking through the wall. I'll put them on defensive stands, why not? So then they can do other things, I guess, but yeah. Basically, you want to just focus on the very far corners. See how they're all chasing him? We will destroy this great tent. Genghis Khan will sleep in the dirt with... Just really hope they don't see the tent and then start attacking it, that's all. Although, that does actually... Is this... Oh, like, it's a proper wonder. Okay. I'm not nearly as worried now. Oh, run! It's fine, if we can break through this, we'll be okay. 
Uh, yeah, let's get rid of this guy. Amori is actually going to be the thing that saves us here, so we need to be hopeful that I'll, uh, that I got, oh, he's still alive somehow. Break through the wall. 18 health. We might do this. I think we're going to do this. And then we need to do, because what will happen is, I think it's like a 180 cone from where he's looking, so it's like this way. That's like, if they see any units, that's what will get you. They're attacking my base, but that's fine. I think we'll finish this mission very soon. And all we do is just come back here. And go for him. If you hit him, yep, if you hit him, he stops moving. And the camera is going to do the rest. Look at that. Five minute mission. Suck on that. Game. Such is the vengeance of the great such is the vengeance of the Great Khan. Alright, we just need to not lose all our units now. See, look, they're working on my house. Oh, they're going to the tent. Oh, and then, come on, quit. Push look resign. That's nice. There we go. Look at that. Easy. Easy five minute mission. Genghis Khan knows that there are weapons aside from the lance and bow. We'll have a look at the map, though, and I'll give you a rundown of uh, the mission. Just as he made an example of Kushluk, he makes examples of enemy lands. When we first encounter a new adversary, the Great Khan spares no one. We ride to the closest town, slay every living thing, burn down the city, sow the fields with salt, and make a mountain of enemy skulls. Ooh. After that, the other towns are quick to send forth their emissaries, eager to placate the ravenous Mongol hordes. Excellent. Military got 62 points. We had the lowest points in military, we still won. That shows, uh, never give up, even if you- we lost 7 units. Although we did lose a lot at the end, because they had scorpions and stuff coming up. They really did try to, uh, beat us, didn't they? Not beat us, um, what's the word? Like, not stifle, but like, yeah. Um, oh yeah, return to map. Then they were there. So yeah, this is like the map. Um, that's the tower we hit at the start. All the enemies are like here, and when you hit that, they all start chasing that, and that's why they're all down here now, because they're like, yeah, we got them. Now we're in the wilderness. And then if you come back here, you've got like a couple of towers, you've got the archery range, buildings, um, economy. But he does eventually build a castle. I have no idea where, I think he builds it like here or something. Or maybe there. They do build a castle though, and it's like, what? This is just open area up here, I don't think you can get up here. Like that looks like you can, I don't think you can go through there though. And yeah, and then up here, Knock out these cavalry archers, you get this village basically, that's where you build it up. Um, we've got deer here, deer here, huge herd of deer here. Use that because you've got Mongol uh, hunters work faster here. But yeah, and you've even got deer here as well, but that's right, right next to the base, so I probably wouldn't go for that one right away. But And yeah, and then basically you just have to defend this area here, which honestly. If you want an easy strat for that, you build like a tower there, a tower there, and a tower there. And, uh, that's all you need. Because they can't really beat towers. They can't build siege weapons. They just have knights and light cavalry. And, I mean, he has a scorpion, but I don't know if he. I think that's all he has. Like, if you beat that, that's it. I oh, know, he has a siege workshop. They lied to us. They said the Mongols can't build any. Objectives. Hints. Mongols do not know how to build siege workshops. Kush looks a cheater. So that's good, we beat a cheater. Alright, I'm going to stop talking because I've already brought this out four minutes longer than it needs to be. So, thank you all for watching. <laughs> and, uh, hope you enjoyed. And I will see you all in the next video.